Well, <clears throat> hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. If you don't mind, subscribe. What we're going to talk about today? I guess the weather. Well, part of it anyway. Yeah, it's still warm out. And also, to let you know, I'm safe. Don't worry. It's okay. For those that have heard about Catalan Volcano, um, getting angry. In other words, it's trying to blow its top. We're at a level two alert. And this is the second time that I have seen activity from this volcano. You know, I've stated in past videos that I live uh, close to an active volcano, and I do. But not close enough to where I can actually take my very own pictures. No. I'd be going out today, and if, uh, if I get any pictures, they'd be from a distance. If it's still active. Uh, <clears throat> this happened yesterday, and uh, to be honest with you, Grace and I, little afternoon, we've been so busy doing stuff, we're just exhausted. We laid down to take a short nap, and I haven't been laying there maybe 20, 25 minutes, something like that. This, this is around noon or something, somewhere thereabouts. I can't give you a precise time because I can't keep up the time. But I heard this big clash of thunder. And shortly thereafter, we got a little bit of rain. So I just thought it was thunder. Now where I live, I'm only about an air miles, probably about 10 miles from the volcano. We can be there if we drove in under 30 minutes. That's including our dirt road and, and making, you know, we live at the intersection that goes through its Camelot Road. They're uh, going to Camelot. You now this, from the pictures that I have downloaded from other sources, it's a lot more active than the first time I seen this. Uh, this was probably Last time this happened was eight or nine years ago, at, uh, probably closer to eight years. It was just before we started building our house. And <clears throat> I don't know what the day holds yet, but I will keep you posted if there's anything new or anything that, uh, that, that will cause uh, problems or whatever. Uh, I'll keep you up to date on that. But the main purpose of the video, just let everybody know, I'm safe, don't worry. Uh, we're fortunate that there is a mountain range in between us and that particular volcano. Um, it actually sits on another mountain range beyond us. That's one of the reasons I can't see it from my home. Uh, I'm looking this morning at the skyline in that area and I can't see anything. Of course I could be looking the wrong direction too. <laughs> well, folks, uh, it's just one of those things that, uh, that happens in the world and uh, the only thing we do is keep our fingers crossed and, and hopefully nobody gets injured. I don't know if they've done any evacuation yet near the volcano. I have, don't have a clue. Uh, but Negros has three volcanoes. Of course, two of them are inactive. Camelon happens to be an active volcano. Now, I've looked, and I'm not being able to find a, a record of a major eruption. I'm sure at one time they probably has been because it wouldn't be as tall as it is. Uh, the volcano stands at a size point uh, around 8,000 feet thereabouts. I know I should be using meters, but I don't remember the meters on it. So but I do remember the footage. Uh, 
when you grow up using the uh, old scale and the inaccurate way of doing things, that's the way it is. <laughs> no, uh, I didn't grow up on the metric system. It was introduced to me, and uh, I comprehended it, which is a much simpler system. But uh, I never adapted to it because I wouldn't use it. When you don't use it, you lose it. Pretty simple, isn't it? And like a lot of things I used to do in my life, um, I have a tendency to forget. And occasionally I'll be doing something and it refreshes my memory. Now on the other side of the fence, some good things have happened. We've actually got some new babies. We've got some chicks hatching. I've got three in the brooder box at the moment. I've got six eggs that are peeping. Hopefully we'll have some more today. Uh, the way the eggs are placed in the incubator, they should be, for the next five days, uh, eggs hatching. And upon my investigation, I found two more eggs that were unfertile out of the 30, so it makes us 26 eggs. Uh, how many of those that don't hatch, I don't know yet. But we'll find out. I'm hopefully uh, that we can get a, another brood of 15 or 16 chicks. I'd be happy. If I can get 50% success on it, that's great. That's, that's just wonderful. And uh, that's a few things that's going on. Also today, uh, we'll be going to San Carlos. Um, for a couple of reasons. One, one is we need to do our banking as usual. Um, probably could have done it yesterday, but uh, today will be better because the bank won't be as crowded. It'd be uh, probably a much smoother transaction because usually on Mondays it's uh, the bank is on overload. So this will work out good. Uh, for those of you that uh, are interested, banking in the Philippines, uh, it's not an issue. No, you have uh, a lot of people that have mistrust banks in the Philippines. Well, these banks wouldn't be in business for over 100 years if they was that bad. Now, I'm talking about their major banks, BPI, or that's the banks of the Philippine Islands. Uh, Philippine National Bank, uh, uh, there's a few others, uh, BDO, uh, BDO now, it's, it's some of the other banks too, you got to keep in mind that they uh, require, if you need to do over the counter like I have to do today, uh, to do your transactions, you have to do over the counter as they say, they require you to go back to your the bank you actually open the account up. That's one of the main reasons I chose BPI and PMB. I can use any of their bank branches, which has been very convenient for us. We've done that on several occasions, uh, especially during the pandemic. Uh, we couldn't access our local uh, the bank branch that we normally use. Uh, so that gives you an idea of what you can do. Now, if you if you want to do direct deposit, keep in mind, when you ask about this, they don't know it as direct deposit. Uh, their terminology for it is a pension account. Uh, and uh, it's pretty simple to do. Uh, of course, now you're required to be uh, not always, but in most cases, you have to be a resident, or at least have your uh, your I card, as they call it, alien certificate of registration, and uh, got to have two IDs, I think it is, uh, and it, basically you will have to, every what bank you decide on, you need to see what the requirements are. That's some of the things I know for a fact you have to have. And, they want, and they're pretty strict on their requirements. 
And I can understand that because there's so much money laundering going on. They're just trying to protect their self-interest. But I've not had any issues to, to complain about um, the only issue I ever had was uh, I didn't get my are you dead letter as they call it or my annual letter uh, sent back in and they received it they didn't make it so that's uh, something to keep in mind and it's almost time to do that again this year uh, usually we get our letters in August but making it pretty simple though. And another thing too, the way I do mine, it is a dollar account, U.S. dollar account, by the way. <coughs> and uh, what I do, is keep what happen, make multiple trips to the bank, is I just cash it all in and uh, put it into a peso account, a separate account, which uh, Grace and I are a joint on it. Now I have her as the primary. There's a reason for that. Because if something was to happen, it would be a nightmare for her if I was the primary. Keep that in mind, too. Well, not everybody can trust her other half, or don't trust her other half. Uh, I don't understand that. If you can't build a relationship where you can trust each other, there's a problem. And I know all about that because Grace is the first woman that has ever been on a joint account with me. That has never happened in the past. So that tells you a lot. So that's a little bit of information I throw it out there in case somebody's interested. Uh, and I might get into more details again. I did this on several occasions, uh, but I might do it again if I. If I can find out enough information to make it more useful. So folks, everybody out there, stay safe. Enjoy your life. And stay tuned. I'll keep you up to date. And don't forget to subscribe.